My name is Augustus DeRico. I'm the CEO and founder of Rainmaker. We're a cloud seeding company that is enhancing precipitation via advanced radar and also drones for the sake of supplementing water supplies for farms, cities, reservoirs, and wildlife throughout the United States. Um, our ultimate vision is to end water scarcity, and we've begun that mission already. I'm testifying to not oppose the spirit of this bill, which I think is well-founded, but the current configuration of the bill that I think would impede this mission for ending water scarcity and also for bringing the best-in-class technology to Florida and the rest of the United States. Um, and so the first point that I'd like to make is the difference between um, solar radiation management uh, and cloud seeding. And so uh, Senator Garcia did bring this up briefly. Um, solar radiation management is a very new technology. It's not something that's been tested at length. NOAA has done some very initial experiments on its efficacy. It is attempting to reduce the amount of solar radiation that makes it down to the planet by injecting reflective aerosols into the upper atmosphere. Um, once you inject these aerosols, they stay in the stratosphere for years. They have effects on the entire climate. Um, the data from these experiments, because the experiments have been so few, is limited. And so the implications of them are not something that are well tested yet. Um, cloud seeding is altogether different. The only similarity is that it has to do with the atmosphere. It has to do with the low atmosphere. Uh, it's a mechanism, uh, or it's a tool that either freezes the water in existing clouds or condenses the droplets in existing clouds into bigger snowflakes or bigger droplets such that they fall uh, onto your target watershed or farm. Um, it's a technology that, exi that has existed for 80 years in the United States. Um, it was patented by GE in 1946, um, but it hasn't been viable for a long time because we didn't have the appropriate radar to measure exactly what its effect is. Uh, I can tell you definitively that there is not cloud seeding going on in the state of Florida uh, because you would be able to see its effect on radar. So the National Center for Atmospheric Research produced some great uh, results from what's called the Snowy Campaign, where they were able to verify cloud seeding's effect, um, and they saw tens of millions of gallons of precipitation occur from each of their interventions, uh, and that was very, very easily distinguishable on radar. It also is worth saying that it's local uh, in its scope, and it is very short temporally. So if ever there is cloud seeding going on and you don't like the consequences of it, there are unintended consequences, and it's quite well characterized, so the unintended consequences are minimal, um, you can stop whenever you like. So th that point of differentiation between solar radiation management, which is something that I think the public should scrutinize more heavily, um, and cloud seeding, uh, is important to make from the top. Then the second point I'd like to make is that, um, well, it has to do with the safety of cloud seeding, right? Because this has to do with environmental health, particularly pollution. Uh, cloud seeding is conventionally done with a chemical called silver iodide. It's LD50, so it's lethal dose, is 10 times higher than aspirin, and we're using about 50 grams per each operation, that's as much as can fit in the palm of your hand, right? That's less flour that's in, than is in a slice of bread. So the amount that accumulates into watersheds is in the parts per trillion after decades of operation, and we have data to prove that from programs that exist throughout the United States. This leads me into another point, which is the precedent that other states have set in cloud seeding permitting and licensing. So I think that, per what I said at the top of my, my commentary, um, the spirit of this bill to protect Floridians, to protect, protect Americans from environmental pollution, that is great. And I think that permitting and licensing absolutely should exist. It does exist in states like Texas and Utah and Idaho. So this isn't a blue state or red state issue. California has a process as well. New Mexico has a process. Um, and we don't want anybody wantonly modifying the weather. So implementing a permitting regime so that it's only done responsibly and safely with best in class meteorological practices that, that makes sense, um, and we advocate for that. Uh, not only do we advocate for that, we, Rainmaker Technology Corporation, has engineers in all of those states that I mentioned that are actively modifying the weather, that are actively enhancing precipitation for farmers and reservoirs and cities that are undergoing drought. Um, and that, that brings me into like my third and, and closing point. Um, like, What is this bill about? What are we voting on here? Um, yes, this has to do with Florida, first and foremost. I don't think that burdening the state with more regulation, with more permitting on investigation is something that it would necessarily be excited about, but if it was for the sake of protecting Floridians, that makes sense. Um, I don't think that we want to prevent Florida's access to best-in-class technology for their agriculture and their water uh, and their wildlife, but more than that, it has to do with the United States, both domestically and abroad. Um, no ifs, ands, or buts, Mar-a-Lago exists here. Florida is a very consequential state within the United States. Um, and if weather modification is banned here, 
that sets a precedent to deprive farmers in even more arid regions of the country from getting access to water from cloud seeding. And so if only for the sake of other Americans, for other farming interests, for other cities like Salt Lake, which is currently radically uh, under budget for their water supply and people are getting respiratory issues from the dust kicked up from the evaporation, cloud seeding could mitigate that. Um, if this precedent is set here, it could affect other Americans. And not only could it affect us immediately uh, within the United States, but long term, it could affect us geopolitically because China has a $300 million annual budget for weather modification research and operations. And if we are to ban this here, if that precedent is set throughout the rest of the United States and perhaps federally, then we will lose control over uh, the weather uh, to China. Uh, and that's not something that I, as a patriot, or I think anybody else in Florida would advocate for. So in closing, um, I think that permitting and licensing for cloud seeding, which is a technology that other states throughout the union have adopted uh, and created, I, I advocate for wholeheartedly. Um, but uh, SRM is something altogether different. Thank you, Mr. DeRico. I think Senator Pizzo has a question. 